Let's go live now to Director of Strategic Analysis Australia, Michael Shoebridge. Michael, what do you make of this? Uh, I guess Australia needs to work with the broader decisions made by the Pentagon and the US military more broadly. What's your analysis on this? Kieran, this is a public policy failure that is now costing Australian taxpayers $800 million to get the opposite to what we were promised. This was meant to be the first combat aircraft designed and built in Australia for 50 years. It is now not going to be a combat aircraft. So it is a absolute public policy failure. It is showing this is the wrong way to pursue, to pursue drone capabilities. A big single bet on a really expensive per unit system. We're getting eight of them for $800 million. And it turns out the Americans won't let us integrate weapons onto it. So the things are busted flush. So what can it be used for? They're talking about surveillance, but it, it, they're also saying uh, experts quoted in today's reports that it can be used to block other offensive weapons from, from uh, enemies. Is there any broader role that you can see this, this Boeing aircraft playing? Well, what it is is an empty platform with a small payload. So, yes, in theory, you could fit it out with surveillance systems so it can help understand what's happening. You could maybe fit it with electronic jamming systems. These things are going to have the same constraints around integrating it into the entire US technology base that we've insisted is our defence plan. That's the problem with the approach to drones in Australia. The way the Houthis are doing it, the way the Ukrainians are doing it, is they're not integrating everything with everything, which is what's killing Ghostbat now. They're doing just enough to have the thing be effect an effective weapon. But that would mean a complete change of mindset in the Australian military and defence organisation. And without that, we get these horrible big bets with this one now failing. What drone, lethal drone capacity does Australia have or unmanned aircraft? Do we have anything along those lines? Is there anything in train? Well, funnily enough, Australian companies build right now long-range drones that can be lethally armed. They can be kamikaze drones or they could, uh, they could have weapons fitted. So there are other options in Australian industry already. But again, if you decide you need to integrate everything with the big expensive platforms like the F-35s and the air warfare destroyers and a global targeting system, we will get no mm -hmm. results because we'll bump into these same yeah. obstacles. Yeah, it's, that's interesting, even when we've got the, the sovereign capacity, which is actually something both sides of politics talk a lot about, the need for, for sovereign capability. Is there any sign that the government, the powers that be, are heading in that direction, that they might start to use some of that locally grown knowledge and capability? There are very limited signals around that. In fact, I think the way the government's spinning this development with Ghostbat should tell everyone, prepare for more disappointment. There's a remarkable lack of investment into Australian industry that can provide diverse solutions. So when one falls over mm. like Ghostbat, we've got something else. So I'm expecting to hear, this is a fantastic future for Ghostbat. We never intended it to be a combat aircraft. That is simply putting a spin on failure. And the... The events in, that we've seen with the Russia-Ukraine conflict, doesn't that highlight the need for that drone and missile capacity? Exactly, Kieran. And the Ukrainians are building thousands of different types of drones. That's because placing a single big bet on something that may or may not work or when you start to use it, the adversary can counter rapidly is a really bad idea. So diversity is our friend in the drone space. And the big defence companies, even Boeing in this case, don't have all the answers. We have to look to the smaller, faster Australian yeah. companies. That can get around uh, any potential defences, yep. Director of Strategic Analysis Australia, Michael Shoebridge, thank you as always. Talk to you soon. Thanks, Kieran.